I'm not gonna lie, it stings, it's hard to breathe, and um, I can tell you um, with 100% honesty, I saw nothing that provoked this response. This is not a de-escalation strategy. This is flat out urban warfare. And it's being brought on the people of this country by the President of the United States. And it's got to stop now. And on the 56th night of the Portland protests, federal agents tear gas the city's mayor. It's another plot twist in Donald Trump's show of force crackdown, another escalation in our lurch toward authoritarianism, and the administration announcing yesterday it would send hundreds of additional federal agents into cities like Chicago and Albuquerque. Just in the last few hours, though, we learned that the Justice Department's inspector general, remember Michael Horowitz, will investigate the use of force by law enforcement personnel against protesters in Portland and Washington, D.C. Joining our conversation, Connecticut Congressman Jim Himes, who is a member of the House Intelligence Committee. That committee investigated Donald Trump for abuse of power. They tried to warn us. What do you see in his escalation of, of behavior that can only be described as such an abuse of his office? Well, Nicole is problematic in so many different ways, right? We know why Donald Trump is doing this. Donald Trump is doing this because it fits his re-election narrative of law and order, right? I mean, he says that on his Twitter feed pretty much every day. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, it's not helpful to restoring order in Portland or anywhere else. And we know that because the mayor and the governor of Oregon have said, we don't want your people here. We know that because Border Patrol agents and, uh, and, and U.S. Marshals, they're not trained in what is a fairly technical thing thing around controlling crowds. They're trained in chasing fugitives mm -hmm. and securing the border. And so what happens is when you have guys without identification in camouflage uniforms and, and basically combat ready, hustling people into the back of uh, a van, that looks like a daggone kidnapping, right? So that opens up the door for violence and misunderstanding. And so what is happening here is that the President of the United States, for very clear uh, reasons associated with his re-election, um, is trampling on the idea that state and localities enforce their own rules. He's creating an already somewhat unfortunate situation with, yes, some vandalism. He's turning that in to a far more dangerous situation. Uh, and as usual, none of my Republican friends in this building who traditionally stand up or supposedly stand up for state rights um, are making a peep. Is it worth highlighting what you just said, though? I mean, is it worth convening some sort of emergency hearings just, just to make sure those things are clear, that it's clear both to the mayors and the governors who's on their streets, that people's rights are being, I mean, people have a right to know who the arresting agency is, is, is my understanding. I mean, is it, is it something being discussed, convening any hearings on this? Yeah, and of course, and we've done that, right? So you've heard the various committees here on the House side say that they are uh, they, they want hearings. Now remember, the White House has basically put a blanket prohibition on people coming to testify to the Congress. That is something I will remind my Republican friends of if and when there is a President Joe Biden. This uh, this precedent they have set that the, pre that, the, mm. that the President of the United States is no longer subject to congressional oversight. Uh, but of course it is. And, and, and Nicole, um, you know, I mean, just everything about this is dangerous and wrong. And the President president who can't think beyond a television image, and I guess he sees those men in camouflage with assault weapons uh, as an image that makes him happy. This can't possibly end well for him, right? The violence is getting worse, not better, because they're there. The chance for a mistake where a protesting civilian gets killed by a federal agent is pretty high. Uh, the courts, by the way, because the courts always rule against the Trump administration, the inspector general who announced right. his investigation today, eventually the answer is going to be this was a terrible and probably not a legal idea. But the president gets his tough guy photograph. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.